Well, when we take a look at the markets, we are what I've been in what I've been calling a bear market trifecta. The Dow is now down into bear market territory. Of course, a bear market is when the market declines 20% or more from its recent high. The Dow's down more than 21% year to date. The S&P is down 24% and the NASDAQ down 31%. Again, all in bear territory. So September has historically been a pretty ugly month for stocks, and this September was no exception. So in September, the Dow lost 8.8%, the S&P fell 9.3%, and the NASDAQ dropped 10.5%. So if you're kind of trying to put all those numbers together, um, you know, the NASDAQ didn't drop one-third in just uh, of what it's down in one week. We've had a lot of ups and downs. We've had some bounces. We saw a low in June. We've tested those lows now. October has historically been a better month for stocks. So we will see. But, you know, there's more to it than just, you know, the market's uh, sentiment waning from one way to another. There's some very real things going on in the economy that gives us cause for pause. So I mentioned earnings season is coming up pretty soon. I predict that it will not be very pretty. Uh, I think there's more pain to come. We're going to hear more from companies about the effects of inflation on their profits and or the prices that they are passing along to consumers. So all of the investment models, with the exception of the income model, have been updated. The income model, the Timothy models, and the TSP models are in the final stages of review before we get them uh, published to uh, the website. So keep looking for that, and there will be an alert that goes out when those are updated just to notify you. We do want you to try to get your portfolios rebalanced before earnings season starts in the next week or two and ahead of the elections. Now, um, if we believe the... um, the guidance that's being put out, then we are hopeful that common sense is going to start to become a little bit more common. And we're going to see a red wave sweep through the country, uh, people out voting their values. And we hope that you will do the same. 